Dear students, I have come with a new module that is Final Accounts Module 9 and in this module I will be explaining two concepts that is prepaid expenses and accrued income. I hope you know that we are dealing with final accounts with adjustments. So the first adjustment is prepaid expenses. Now what is prepaid expense? Prepaid expense is expenses paid in advance. See for example you have to remember that sometimes insurance we pay for a year. But we know that final accounts, final, the final accounts will be closed by 31st March. So if we have paid up to June, that meaning three months will be prepaid. See, insurance company will always collect for one year, but we close the finance, final accounts in between, usually March 31st. So you have to remember that some expenses will be paid in advance. So that is prepaid expenses, meaning expenses paid in advance. So what will be the adjustment? I told you any item appearing outside trial balance, there will be two adjustments. One is it will be subtracted from the item. That means insurance value if it's mentioned that prepaid, 100 rupees prepaid. So that will be subtracted from the insurance value and the out, final value only we will take into the outer column. Then this what will be the treatment in the balance sheet? This will be an asset in the balance sheet because this we have already paid. Now let us see the first problem. From the following trial balance, prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet of Mr. D as on 31-3-22. Capital 8,274, drawings 2,000, opening stock 4,070, fixture, fixtures and fittings 4,238, bills payable 536, bills receivable 476, purchases 11,822. Sales 21,564. Discount allowed 446. Discount received 208. General expenses 384. Office expenses 148. Salaries and wages 1,652. Repairs and renewals 116. Lighting and heating. This is a direct expenditure. It should go to trading account 174. Rates and taxes 292. Insurance 400. Wages 3,288, sundry expenses 122, bank overdraft, it's a liability 1,562, it should come in the balance sheet. Creditors 2,866, debtors 5,328, petty cash, it's an item for balance sheet 54. So total of the trial balance 35,010. Now three, four information are there as additional information. Closing stock was valued at 6,314. So closing stock, we will show it in the credit side of the trading account and it will be an asset in the balance sheet. Now insurance prepaid amounted to rupees 100. Rates and taxes prepaid rupees 50. Wages prepaid rupees 300. So prepaid expense, um, expenses, we will subtract from the concerned item. That is insurance, rates and taxes and wages. And these three items will appear as asset in the balance sheet. So let us see the trading and profit and loss account of Mr. D as on 313322. To opening stock 4070, to purchases 11822. To lighting and heating, this is a direct expenditure. It should come in the trading account because it's directly related to manufacture. Value is 174. Now wages 3,288 less prepaid 300. So outer column 2,988. To gross profit carried on 8,824. Credit side by sales 21,564. By closing stock 6,314. So total of the trading account is 27,878. Credit side is higher so we are balancing and we are getting a profit of 8,824. Now we will transfer this to profit and loss account. So by gross profit brought down 8,824, by discount received 208. So total of the credit side is 9,032. Debit side to discount allowed 446, to general expenses 384, to office expenses 148, to salaries and wages 1,652, to repairs 116, to rates and taxes, inner column 292, less prepaid 50, so outer column 242. To insurance 400, less prepaid 100, outer column 300, to sundry expenses 122. So here also credit side is higher, so we are getting net profit 
which we will transfer to capital account value is 5622 total of the trial balance the total of the profit and loss account is 9032 now the net profit we will add to balance sheet so balance sheet of mr d as on 31 3 22 capital 8274 add net profit 5622 so total is 13896 less drawings 2000 11,896. Bills payable 536. Bank overdraft, I told you, balance sheet item 1,562. Creditors 2,866. Asset side, fixtures and fittings 4,238. Bills receivable 476. Debtors 5,328. Petty cash, I told you, balance sheet item asset side 54. Closing stock 6,314. Prepaid wages 300, prepaid rates and taxes 50, prepaid insurance. So the three items we are showing it as, as in the asset side. Prepaid insurance value is 100. So total of the balance sheet 16,860. Now the second adjustment, what is accrued income? Accrued income meaning income received, income we are supposed to receive but we have not received. It's yet to receive. So it's also known as income earned but not received. The best example is dividend declared by the company but not yet received. It will take time to reach us. So that is why it's an accrued income. Now what is the adjustment? It's added with the income and it will be an asset in the balance sheet. So let us illustrate with a problem. From the following trial balance of Mr. E, prepare the trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet as on 31 3, 22. So buildings 20,000, cash in hand 12,000. Missionary 30,000, capital 1,20,000, purchases 1,20,000, purchase returns 8,000, sales 1,50,000, sales returns 5,000, opening stock 22,000. Salaries and wages 15,000, carriage inwards 1,000, debtors 40,000, creditors 30,000, discount allowed 600, discount received 1,000, investments 40,000, drawings 5,000, Commission 4000, that is commission received, that is why it's coming in the credit side. So it's coming in the credit side of the profit and loss account. Income tax 4000, interest received, that also it will come in the credit side of the profit and loss account 1500. So total of the trial balance 3600. 3, now three adjustments closing stock is valued at 34000. Interest receivable is 400, discount receivable is 500. So closing stock, it will come in the credit side of the trading account and an asset in the balance sheet. Interest and discount receivable, we will add with a concerned item in the profit and loss account and it will be asset in the balance sheet. So trading and profit and loss account of Mr. E as on 31 3, 22. To opening stock 22,000. To purchases 1,20,000, less returns 8,000, outer column 1,12,000. To carriage inwards, it's a direct expenditure. If it's carriage outwards, it will come in profit and loss account. Carriage inwards 1,000. Now credit side, by sales 1,50,000, less returns 5,000, 1,45,000. By closing stock 34,000. So credit side is higher, 1,79,000. So when we balance, you will get gross profit 44,000. This we will transfer to profit and loss account. So by gross profit brought down 44,000 to discount receive 1,000. So the adjustment is add outstanding 500, 1,500. By commission receive 4,000. By interest 1,600, add outstanding 400, outer column 2,000. So to salaries and wages on the debit side 15,000. To discount allowed 600. To income tax 4,000. Now credit side is higher, that is 51,500. So we will balance and we will get a net profit of 31,900 which we will transfer to capital account. Now capital on the liability side 1,20,000 and net profit 31,900. So total is 1,51,900. Less drawings 500. So outer column 1,46,900. Creditors 30,000. Asset side, buildings 20,000, missionary 30,000, debtors 40,000, investments 40,000, closing stock 34,000, accrued interest 400, accrued discount 500, cash in hand 12,000. 
So total of the balance sheet is 176900 So in this module, we have learned two adjustments. That is prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses, we will subtract from the concern item and it's an asset in the balance sheet. Accrued income. Income earned but not received. We will subtract, we will add to that item, concern item and it will be an asset on the balance sheet. So this is what I want to explain with this module. Thank you.